So it's almost May of 2021, just coming up, and hard to believe it'll be two years since the project uh, we're about to talk about went live. Um, so this uh, is, to me, really another milestone for the ICA uh, in that we get to take a deep dive and, and really share the nitty gritty story with the broader audience. Uh, we're really excited to discuss you know, how the ICA advanced their critical mission. Uh, they've created new ways of serving their customers and constituents, and, and really they've become more cost effective and efficient. And uh, all through digital transformation from a pre 21st century legacy system into the cloud uh, on Salesforce and MuleSoft platforms with data stored on GovCloud. Um, so we're pretty excited about what we have to share today. Uh, beyond learning more about what Workers' Comp does as a business, you know, this panel really aims to provide relevant information, uh, lessons learned for those who are considering a similar project or potential investment, um, or for those who would like to learn how Salesforce and MuleSoft can really solve for the most complex government use cases, uh, such as workers' compensation. Um, and, and maybe they'll learn how they can realize long-term benefits uh, of incrementally growing their operation onto the platform, uh, really resulting in an agency that can meet goals like uh, our, our Governor Ducey here in the state of Arizona, uh, a goal of operating at the speed of business. Um, the project would require a huge document and data migration effort to the cloud. Uh, as Jason was mentioning, workers' compensation claims are lifelong claims, so record retentions are lifetime plus. So I believe there was about 11 terabytes of data and documents to migrate. Um, it consisted of close to 45 million records, including 3.8 million claims, 78,000 ALJ cases, and over 26 million documents. So a lot of data and documents that need to be uh, to migrate it to the new system. And finally, due to the age of the existing system, a phased implementation was not possible. So a big bang launch was necessary. This required all of the critical functionality to be in place on day one and a long uh, implementation timeline. So in order to overcome these business and technical hurdles, IC looked to adopt a software as a service system with the state agreement for Salesforce and align with the state's cloud first strategy. So we created a request for a proposal to implement Salesforce Service Cloud and Community with MuleSoft as the integration layer. Um, throughout the, you know, the, the scope and the, the request for proposal process, MST was selected as the implementation vendor and the adventure began as we say now, because it was sure an adventure. Now, while executing the project, uh, as Ryan mentioned, one of the important tasks of the project team was to coordinate multiple tracks, which included Salesforce, which is the core application development track. And then another major track was the MuleSoft and data migration. And we also kept one last track for continuous innovation through a means of quick proof of concept. When we talk about Salesforce, that being the core application, any changes or new design decisions were needed to be communicated to all different tracks right away to ensure dependencies are addressed and time. At the same time, it required us to rethink processes to integrate ALJ division and claims division. As Judge Jonathan Howard touched upon it, these applications were not in initially integrated in the legacy systems. Um, then another important track that we talked about, new soft and data migration, MuleSoft is utilized as a core integration bus for a Industrial Commission of Arizona. At the same time, we also used MuleSoft capabilities to support our data migration. We knew the complexity of front. We were migrating 30 plus years old data that has lived through continuous statutory and technical changes. Our goal was to get ahead of data quality and address it with potential changes in data model and processes as needed. Over a couple of the technical benefits uh, that we also saw with this, with this uh, solution. So the MIS division definitely obtained their goal of a ro robust data integration hub using MuleSoft. Uh, 